Hello, today's the anniversary of the death in 2013 of John Taverner, one of this country's most respected composers of recent years. Most of his work uh, is sacred choral music and uh, he's own religious faith was very strong. He grew up in a Presbyterian household and then moved right the way across, so to speak, to um, becoming a convert to the Ethan Orthodox way of expressing the Christian faith. Uh, and the, the, the feeling about so much of his music is that he's trying to uh, open us up I I into this different world, this, this world beyond, this transcendence this infinite world that often religion at its best is is trying to bring into our experience. Um, someone uh, described his music uh, like this, uh, as each melodically balanced line gently unfolds, one has a strange sense of the infinite opening up, almost as though time has become temporally suspended. And it's that uh, opening up of our hearts and minds into something beyond that is what he's trying to achieve. And I think this is a valuable thing for all of us to attempt. It may not be through music, it may not be through his music, uh, it may be through uh, art and uh, or the world of nature, but some, some opening up of our hearts and minds into this bigger, more expanded world, I think, is a, a valuable part of human experience. But one of the interesting things about the way John Taverner does this is to see all religions as having this capacity uh, he wrote a requiem, for example, that includes words from Suf the Sufi poets, poets from the Catholic Mass and Hindu and, and, uh, uh, and Islamic writings. Uh, uh, he, he got into um, some controversy because he wrote a piece commissioned actually by, by King Charles, by Prince Charles, who uh, is a friend of his, was a friend of his um, and a great supporter of his. Um, a piece called The Beautiful Names, based around the 99 names that the Quran uses for the Prophet Muhammad. In other words, John Tavner is seeing in all religions a way of opening us up into this bigger, wider world. Uh, and he was very strong in uh, arguing for an acceptance of, of everybody's religion. Of course, uh, religion can be really harmful. Uh, Islamic um, militarism, uh, Hindu nationalism, uh, right-wing Christianity in America, uh, in all sorts of ways, uh, it, religion can be damaging and it's tragic when that happens. But religion at its best has something great to offer all of us. It offers us uh, a, a, a sense of wonder. Uh, Tavner wrote an article after 9-11 uh, uh, saying that the world leaders ought to embrace uh, a phrase used by the, uh, the, the Sufi poet uh, Rumi who said, uh, sell cleverness by wonder. Uh, and that's what Tavner's trying to do. He's trying to open us up using all sorts of different uh, musical techniques, but also by embracing the best of each religion to a world that is beyond, a world that is real, and a world that we can experience, perhaps through his music, but hopefully in other ways too.